In today's video, we've got a fun build idea. We're gonna see if we can build our very own customized TKOR branding iron. Guys, we just got a welder, a MIG welder. I love welding and this is gonna be a lot of fun. And as a first project, we are going to make a branding iron. So I've got a steel bar, I've got some steel square tubing, got a little bit of all thread, some wood, nuts. Goal is to be able to have a little metal logo that we can heat up in a fire and then brand onto wood or maybe a steak or whatever else we feel really needs our logo burned right into it. Not people. Probably not cows either. I don't think we have any cows to brand. It's a pretty basic idea. We're going to cut and shape the TKOR logo out of some mild steel, use a welder to attach them together and add a handle, giving us a branding iron that we can use on all sorts of stuff. Now I've gone ahead and printed off the TKOR logo and what I'm gonna be doing is attaching that to our metal bar here. And I'm actually gonna take all four letters and cut them up and then we're welding stuff. We'll put them back together. That's just gonna make it a lot easier to get some of the angles and stuff, the, the down in the little nooks and crannies. So we're gonna separate all the letters, glue them down to this piece of steel and we're gonna start cutting them out. Wood glue actually does a fantastic job of attaching paper to metal. Well, there's a few ways you could cut this out. Uh, I'm gonna start with a hacksaw. We'll see if I decide to keep using the hacksaw or if I just move on to using an electric grinder. Ooh. Who was it that said something about a metal grinder? Heck, I had a good idea. Kind of got the rough form cut out. Now we got to start doing a little bit finer detail. Of course, we won't necessarily do everything with a grinder. We'll get some files, maybe a rotary grinder as well. We've got options. I've got the four letter pieces cut out for our TKOR symbol and now I need to start welding them together. The T and K should be connected, the O and R should be connected. And so we wanna do that before we put all the pieces together with the backer rod and then attach the handle. So we're just gonna be welding. We're actually gonna do it on the front. That is gonna leave a little bit of buildup. We're gonna to have to grind that down afterward, but it should leave a nice smooth connection between the pieces when we're done. It's not a great connection, 
Hopefully it's enough connection. Nice, that worked great. There we go, we've got a weld right across the seam. Hopefully it's a good clean weld all the way through and when I sand that down, it'll just be nice and smooth with no bubbles or anything inside. So for those of you who may not know, this right here, that's a magnet. This is great for holding all of your pieces in place and it's got a nice 90 degree angle on it. It gives you some measures and stuff. This right here is what allows it to complete a circuit. When I'm pushing this button, it's sending electricity through both of these and it welds because it's trying to complete the circuit. So this has to be in contact with what you're welding ahead of time. And as it feeds this wire out, the wire comes in contact with it. It makes an arc and that's what welds. All right, let's do a little bit of cleanup on these two. Are they cool enough to touch? They're not super burning hot, but they're too hot. Well, guys, uh, <laughs> brands work in reverse. So this one looks really good on camera, but if I brand anything with it, it would read TKOR backwards. So I'm gonna try and cut off these weld marks, weld this piece to the other side, and then clean it up again. All right, we've got some charcoal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our brand down in the charcoal, get it nice and hot, add a little bit of extra air to just really get that thing going. Hopefully we can get this really nice and hot and then start burning some stuff. All right, now it's not glowing red. Part of this because it's daytime out here. But I'm guessing we have plenty of heat to get a good brand. Bam, that is beautiful. It brands wood really well, but there's another thing we wanna try. Now, we're not gonna brand a live cow because we don't have one of those and we don't own it and have no reason to brand it. But we do have a steak from a cow. We're gonna see what happens if we try and brand that steak. Ha <laughs> ha! Right as I branded that, there's a cow, I don't know, like a few properties over, I swear, just It knew, it knew. Yeah, that's good and branded right there. Tastes branded. It actually does, there's like an extra little bit of charred flavor to it. It's quite good. Guys, you've probably noticed that since we introduced Cali in our Captain America Shield video, 
Every new video has had secret codes, graphic glitches, and other secret elements hidden into it. Keep track of what you see and the timestamp of when you see it. We've got some big prizes to give away, and finding the codes might make you our next winner.